Yesterday, about 7.15, I got on a big yellow school bus in Winston-Salem. And the bus driver of number 509 was Miss Betty Simpson. And Miss Betty Simpson looked, uh, a, was a very caring and is a very caring bus driver. She made sure that London got across the street safely and I got to hold London's hand to get on the school bus. Well, London and I had a very frank conversation. She said to me that I'd be a lot cuter if I would not wear glasses. <laughs> she also told me that she liked my lipstick and how did I keep it on for a long time, and I told her. She also, when I opened my lipstick that she wanted to see, uh, she saw that I had some money in my um, purse, and she said, shh, we have to make a pinky promise so we won't tell anyone where your money is hidden. And she told me that she was in the first grade and she knew all of her O sounds and it was the 100th day of school. She loved math, she loved her teacher, and she loved school. Fast forward to our arriving at the school. Miss Simpson stood up and as the children were getting off the bus, she said to them, have a great day and make great choices. And each child smiled at her as, she got off, as each child got off the bus. To me, Miss Betty Simpson represents all of the caring bus drivers we have in North Carolina. You care about each child who gets on your bus. You care, as Miss Betty Simpson did, about the child who is, in the, who is in a wheelchair in the back of the bus and who needs a tissue desperately. You're the one who says to another child, could you lend a tissue to a student? You're the one who recognizes, as Miss Simpson did yesterday, that one of the children was sick on the bus. I know that you have a very hard job. I grew up in rural Bedford County, Virginia, and I rode the bus every single day to school. And as my colleague in the Department of Public Instruction has said, I would not have been able to get to school had it not been for Mr. Brud Gross and that big yellow school bus, because most, both of my parents worked and they could not take me to school. So it's because of Mr. Brud Gross that, who greeted me every morning with a smile uh, and a gruff look sometimes, that I was able to go to school. And so I thank you. And I know that there is someone here who has had 33 years of driving the bus. And I would like for that person to come and stand beside me, please. <laughs> Nancy. All of you know probably Nancy. But Mr. Brud Gross is no longer with us. So I cannot say to Mr. Brud Gross, I am so sorry about how I acted on that bus. <laughs> and I sure do wish I had been quiet when you told me to. And I sure do wish I'd picked up that paper that you asked me to and I forgot. But since Mr. Brud Gross is no longer with us, I want to just say to Nancy, on behalf of all the kids in our state and in Wake County, we are so sorry when we have misbehaved. We should have done better. <laughs> so thank you for what you have done. Thank you for caring about our children. And I know that you represent the Michelles and the Nancys and the Sylvias and the Ronnies and the others who are in this audience who bring children to school every day safely. So thank you very much. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for what you do for public education in our state. Thank you, bus drivers, and that's why I love the yellow big bus. Thank you. <laughs>